high school is working with fuel cells and a replica of an old Ford Model T. I'm very proud to have uh, Protium back with us for the third straight year. This group gives a whole new meaning to the term unplugged. Some local high school students and their teacher who are taking the trip of a lifetime. Please. All the way from Providence, Rhode Island, Ponagansett High School, put your hands together for the world's first fuel cell powered band, Rhodium. Fuel cell initiative is what we started to get kids to learn, of course, about fuel cells and to promote the technology, see what we could do with it in the classroom. And it has since grown to a wide range of alternative energy from solar, winds, biofuels, biodiesel, stuff like that. So it's been a pretty exciting time and the kids seem to have enjoyed it and taken interest in it. In my experience was a way for kids who normally wouldn't get to work with any of this science-y kind of stuff to work with the science-y kind of stuff. We started off with a tiny fuel cell uh, that could make about one watt of power, so not much power. We got our hands on a bigger fuel cell, and that changed everything for us. It had a thousand watts of power, and with that we plugged in a bunch of kids' amplifiers. One kid added Eddie Van Halen 5150 guitar amplifier. Thing's about six feet tall and it's loud enough to peel wallpaper. We plugged it into the fuel cell and it sounded great. We said, hey, this is a lot of fun. So we just started plugging more kids' instruments in there. And so one of our first big projects was Protium, the world's first fuel cell powered band. And that was a great time. The kids loved doing it. They were rocking out, demonstrating fuel cell technology. And I had the opportunity to take these kids to places like Miami, San Antonio, Palm Springs. And we even did a show in Hollywood. Hollywood, California. So the, the kids loved doing that. They worked hard and they did a great job. I met Mr. McCarty in high school. Um, I was really interested in AV and he was running the audiovisual program there at the time. And um, I was a freshman and I didn't have anything to do with this fuel cell program, but in the AV room there was the quadricycle, which was their first fuel cell powered vehicle. It was pretty much just this big bicycle with four wheels and um, I had two seats and a little platform on the back and they put a fuel cell on it and a little electric motor and ta-da, Rhode Island's first fuel cell powered vehicle. And it could take two people about 12 miles an hour. So that was just something very simple, but it worked. And from there, we decided to do a hydrogen hot rod. So a fuel cell powered Model T hot rod. And that took an incredible amount of work but it was just so cool when we finally got it running first on battery electric power and then we finally got it running on hydrogen fuel cell power and that was just a really neat project. We have also worked with biodiesel fuels and other biofuels and another fun project was a coast-to-coast -coast biodiesel pickup project where three students and I drove a pickup truck on essentially pure biodiesel all the way from Rhode Island to California, so a little over 3,000 miles, and we had so much biofuel on board that we didn't have to stop along the way to refuel. Local high school students and their teacher who are taking the trip of a lifetime, and they're doing it all without stopping to fill up. It's an iconic summer vacation, hopping in a truck with friends, driving cross country, all the way to the beach. Bunch of dudes crammed in a pickup truck running on biodiesel, living the American dream. With the Coast to Coast project, we spent, you know, months and months and months getting ready for that and talking about it and planning and doing calculations and working on the truck. And in the beginning, we had, we didn't have anything. We just had the idea that this is what we wanted to do. We didn't have a truck. We didn't have any fuel. We didn't have any sponsors. We didn't have any money to do it, but we knew what we wanted to do. And uh, 
And then, you know, just a few short months later, we were all in the truck in California driving around on biodiesel. Some of these kids have really taken what they've learned in the classroom and some of the bigger picture and has guided them to where they've gone to college, uh, technical schools, careers, and things like that. I learned about batteries and wire sizing and all the different components. Everything that I learned about at school, I could relate to because it was all stuff I'd already worked with on the car. But there's some great examples like Chris Charest is one of my students who went with me to Palm Springs, California. He was able to meet some of the professors from Kettering University there and he decided to go there and get his uh, mechanical engineering degree and he has about another semester left before he finishes that. And one of the great things about that school, he was actually able to work at General Motors as an internship with their fuel cell division and I think some of the things he learned here might have helped him get that internship. So I finished my degree at New England Tech, and uh, now I help Mr. McCurdy when he calls me, I guess. If the students learned half as much as I did, they learned a lot. Uh, so many of these projects, you try to do something, and you don't really know all that much about it. Maybe you know a little bit of theory or some academic background, but then actually trying to do it is a whole different ball game. Every step of the way, there's a whole new set of just good times. There's always, it's always a lot leading up to the project, months and months and months of planning, and then obviously the best time every time is when we get to actually take all of our months of planning and just turn it into something real. Catching an afternoon and a morning of Bonneville Speed Week at the Bonneville Salt Flats. Yeah, everybody had a super time there. So there's just, just there's so many good times from, you know, just getting a chance to hang out with the kids. Sometimes, you know, with the podium shows, when everything, just weeks of work, all comes together and everybody's up on stage and the band is sounding great. And, you know, those are just some really good memories. vegetable oil and it's about as dangerous as vegetable oil and you can run a truck on it. I mean, come on, how great is that? How great is that? Not only are these guys pro to you, but they have their own band up in New England called Orange Jam Conspiracy or OJC. We thank you guys for being here tonight for the 2005 Palm Springs Fuel Cell Seminar. Thank you to our sponsors. Have a good night. I'm not in. I'm not in. I'm not in.